Honestly, it's already Friday. It so is. we kind of get to talk about the weekend forecast. We do, and the weekend's not looking so great. There'll be some dry time <laughs> along the way, and there's a limited dry time in the eight-day forecast, too. So as you're heading out the door in the morning, you will be needing to pack the rain gear once again as we are tracking some thunderstorms to develop into the afternoon. It's going to be a muggy start to the day as temperatures begin at 70 degrees. By lunchtime, we'll be hovering close to 80, and after that, that's when we'll start to see some of those scattered thunderstorms popping up that once again could produce some heavy rain, even some gusty winds and some small hail won't be possible will be possible too. And along with that, some intense lightning, very similar to what we saw throughout the course of the afternoon on Thursday. Now things are starting to settle down as we're moving through the wee hours of the morning. Still some activity popping up on the Max Track Live Doppler in far eastern Kentucky. We did have some strong and even at times severe thunderstorms roll through eastern Kentucky throughout the evening hours. Everything though has diminished, but still picking up on some heavy rain in Pike County where a thunderstorm is sitting just to the south of Pikeville. Meanwhile, more light rain is scattered about the Hal Rogers Parkway. A heavy uh, burst of rain rather is sitting near Corp as well right along the I-75 corridor. Otherwise, heading a little bit further to the north near I-64, still some rain near to Ashland, but a little bit of a circulation has been sending a few more showers further to the east sitting near Row uh, Rowan County. Everything is starting to fizzle out there locally, and again, things will be quieting down as we go over the next several hours. But the clouds are in place all across the Commonwealth, and they're going to be sticking with us as well as we head into the weekend, thanks in part to what is still Tropical Storm Gordon that continues to spin over Little Rock. That is going to be heading into Missouri tomorrow before eventually tracking into the Ohio Valley as we look towards the latter stages of the weekend. We also have a cold front that is currently draped across southern Kentucky. That's what brought the numerous showers and thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. And eventually the combination of the steamy conditions and the front that's not too far away, we'll be producing more thunderstorms into the afternoon. Again, activity could be bringing us some doses of heavy rain. Then eventually the remnants of Gordon will be tracking into the Ohio Valley as we look ahead to Sunday. Saturday, though, could feature a little bit more dry time, but still some scattered storms will be around. And given the fact that we do have a tropical remnant, they'll be tracking through the area. Some heavy rain is expected, but still the axis of heaviest rain looks to be off to our north and northwest. One thing Peter Miles, the European, is showing the potential for three to even five inches of rain between St. Louis up through Indianapolis and Cleveland. Meanwhile, in the bluegrass, around an inch will be possible. Similar story for the GFS, which earlier in the day brought some higher totals into northern Kentucky, but still that is really painting the picture of things to be a little bit higher near the I-70 corridor further to our north, but still a generous amount of rain will be falling across the area as Gordon continues to track through into the early stages of next week. That's not the only tropical system that we're tracking. We have Florence, which was downgraded to a tropical storm as it was interacting with some shear across the open waters of the Atlantic. But it is expected to re-strengthen throughout the course of the week and that back to a major hurricane into early next week. And still there is the potential it could be impacting the eastern seaboard towards the mid to late stages of next week. Just where still remains to be seen. Certainly something we'll be tracking over the coming days. So for the rest of this evening and overnight, we'll be seeing showers coming to an end. It stays mostly cloudy and muggy with a low near 70. Then for your Friday, we're tracking more numerous showers and thunderstorms. It's cooler too with a high of 82. Then we're back into the upper 70s for three days. Again, the remnants of Gordon arrive Sunday and will linger into Monday. We'll keep things seasonal as we head into next week with still more chances for showers and storms through next Friday.